Welcome to this video that's going to teach you more about the realist archetype. If you're the kind of person who's committed to your own personal growth and understand that the introspective work you do on yourself can lead to out to success in all areas of your life and business, then you're going to love this series about the 12 archetypes. Hi, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and consultant, and I help other midlife women align their online identity with their inherent personal identity. I do that through content creation consultation based on personality archetypes and follow through all the way to photo and video production. When you have a deeper understanding of yourself, you're able to more easily recognize patterns of behavior, thought, emotion, and beliefs that both hinder and help your personal and professional journey. With this insight, you're able to course correct and realign the traits and characteristics that are authentically part of your inherent makeup. If you've ever felt like a square peg being jammed into a round hole and just not finding the fit, it's likely you're forcing yourself into someone else's idea of a desirable reality. In truth, we all have unique drivers and motivations that we're born with and all too often, due to a lack of awareness and understanding, we find ourselves pursuing an outcome we don't even want, simply because that outcome was presented to us as the only option. When you realize who you really are, it's easier to define what you really want and start taking steps towards a reality that aligns with your true nature. If you don't yet know your dominant archetype, be sure to pause this video and take my free archetype quiz. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete and then you can hop back on here to finish this video with more clarity. If you've already taken the quiz and you know your archetype, but this isn't the one, head to my channel, check out the playlist on the 12 archetypes and find the video relating to your dominant archetype. So without further ado, let's dig into understanding more about the realist archetype. The realist. Regular gal, realist often. Living with an active realist archetype in your life, you take comfort in prioritizing practicality, considering likely outcomes, and doing what's always worked in the past. You're unbiased, although you prefer to engage with people who are trustworthy and unpretentious. You manage your own expectations by not having dreams that are too big or lofty. You'd rather be realistic, considering your own sphere of influence when it comes to the outcome so as not to disappoint yourself. The part of you that's the realist is pragmatic, modest, and resilient. Realists practice common sense and this enables them to discern what's feasible and what's not. Realists trust their past experience to inform their decisions about the future and generally avoid lofty dreams or risky endeavors. Top-notch realists are common sense people, which enables them to recognize what is achievable and what is not. Realists trust their own experience, typically avoiding pipe dreams or risky new ideas. They have a deep belief that ordinary people should be treated equally, that life requires hard work, and they'll generously help those in need. The realist in you tends to notice the problems that others might miss and tend to be the one to sound the alarm ahead of difficulties actually arising. Even while things are going well, the realist is alert to the possibility of challenges ahead. When faced with unrealistic expectations, the realist sidesteps their own disappointment and that of others by troubleshooting the problem. Realists generally expect and accept the shortcomings in other people, even before having any proof. And they take their time when it comes to trusting these people, but have enormous empathy for the struggle faced by the common person. When you live the realist story, the underlying story is centered around anticipating challenges and preparedness in the form of having a realistic attitude as the best tool for the job. In any story, the role of the realist is to identify and clarify potential problems and to either individually or collectively prevent or repair them. The realist does recognize that not all problems can be solved and in these cases will forge supportive relationships to manage the issues. The realist practices tough love to help others survive and prevail in spite of past hurts. Activities and tasks fulfilling to a realist are practical approaches, having a fixed attitude, and garden variety common sense. Realists get their sense of security and confidence from preparing for future challenges through strategy and building resource reserves. This makes the realist a valued teammate and friend and are a source of practical advice for many. The part of you that's realist finds happiness when she knows what to do in a situation. She values clarity, security, and wisdom. Realists work best and find most meaning while working closely with someone they can trust and not be disappointed by. Realists take pride in being relied upon and feel fulfilled when their skill set solves the problem or saves the day. Their own competence and reliability provides great value and fulfillment for knowing that when relied upon, they can perform well. 
My hope is that after watching this video, you've got more clarity about the realist archetype. Remember, if you don't yet know your archetype, please be sure to go and do my free quiz over at abigailk.com forward slash quiz. This video will resonate a lot more when you know which archetype is your most dominant. If you'd like to learn how you can use personality archetypes to express your personal brand with more clarity and confidence, check out my class on Skillshare. And now over to you. Let me know in the comments three ways in which you're going to start intentionally expressing your dominant archetype. That could mean changing the way you dress or the jewelry you wear. Or perhaps you're going to take up a new hobby that you've always wanted to do, but you felt others wouldn't approve. If it aligns with your archetype, start that hobby. Or perhaps you're ready to make the commitment or to change your lifestyle to bring it more into alignment with who you inherently are. I'm excited to see how this awareness transforms your life.